So, here we go then. Germany against Argentina. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty, and a warm welcome to you all. And now, a moment to cherish as the national anthem rings out. Take a look then at the two teams. So, let's get down to business. Germany against Argentina. Looking to cut inside. Here's a chance to get a cross in. Well read by Demichelis. He hits it. Closer. And it's a really well taken goal. Oh, oh no, no, hang on. No, offside, says the referee. Yeah, the assistant did have his flag up, the referee seemed to spot it late though, nevertheless, the right decision. Demik Ellis. Marcus Rojo. Knocks it forward, here's Lebetsi, out towards the byline. He's waiting here. He's got possession now, maybe a chance. He's wasted a very, very fine chance. He just didn't get any power behind that one and it didn't even threaten at all. Here is closer. La foul there, no question about it. Enzo Perez dumps it long. The forward push gains momentum. It's true. And he'll drive it here. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one. I think he would have been better placing it. Argentina and that's the opener for this game
Argentina are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Germany are already trailing in these early stages. Müller. Marcus Rojo. Here's Lavezzi. Quarter in our play. Marcus Rojo. Mascherano. Demichelis. Tony Cruz. Mascherano has it back now. Lavezzi really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. And just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because the support was arriving quickly. Too much on it. Marcus Rojo, Viglia, he plays it towards the corner flag, Zabaleta tried to play it through. Look, if he wants that ball to make it, then he has to pass it with a bit more zip. I think he knew as soon as it left his boot that it was going to be cut out, just lacked a little more power. Slickly done that. Germany have possession again. Levetsi! He's unlucky not to score there. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Garay plays it long. He takes the opportunity to shoot. Ball's loose. Goal! They lead by two. I'm afraid that one's down to the goalkeeper. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. So, it's now two without reply. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. Mesut Ozil. Now Tony Cruz. Well, he just ran down the cul-de-sac then, no wonder he lost the ball. Miller's got it. Marcus Rojo. Demichelis. Viglia. Jerome Boateng. Now Ozil. Demichelis with the crucial intervention. Jerome Boateng. Tony Cruz has got it. Lavezzi. Viglia. Garay, he's looking to play it into the channel. Messi shoots, and he wasn't far off. 
Well, he's certainly a player I'd be more than happy to watch. Tactically, he's almost impossible to stop. The ball's with Tony Cruz. That's just great pace to get back in position from Tony Cruz. Looking to carve open the defence. Enzo Perez. Chance to counter-attack here. Didn't have any luck with the through ball there. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. He's a, he's a bit over-ambitious, but I like his thinking. Jerome Boateng is there to intercept. Jerome Boateng, a minimum of two minutes to be played for stoppages. Kicked off. Here's Higuain. Higuain shoots. A fine stop by the keeper. I thought he was magnificent then. He had no right to get anywhere near that. What a save. Plenty of options. Who's he looking to pick out? And a header. The referee blows his whistle to signal half-time. They have a cushion of a 2-0 lead. So the second half gets underway. Zabaleta. Biglia. Marcos Rojo tried to play it through. Now through to Lebetsi. Closer. Mesut Ozil. Biglia makes the interception. Now Ozil. Vital interception there. Closer. Biglia quickly closed down he couldn't get it cleanly and it's a foul Zabaleta Marcos Rojo and he tries from long distance it's a really good try, but no goal. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Here's Tony Cruz. Mats Hummels. He was fouled, and he gets his free kick. Demichelis, Tony Cruz has got hold of He did well to get it. What next? And that's gone straight to the keeper. Viglia. Pumps it upfield. Mats Hummels was well positioned to make the interception. Feinsteiger, now Erzil. Demichelis gets it back in the nick of time. Now Higuain. Müller. Zabaleta. Balls with Higuain. It's through. He decides to shoot. Really good try, but no goal.
Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one. And I think he would have been better placing that. Higuain. Pedera cuts out what was really a sloppy pass. He stayed up for this pass. He surges forward. Viglia. He plays it through. A crucial intervention there. Enzo Perez, now Higuain, here's Garay, he's free through the middle, Palacio, and they escape imminent danger, well saved by the keeper. And that's a really instinctive stop too, great reflexes to make it happen, I thought he showed class there. Demichelis, it is good to see a forward tracking back and defending like that from time to time. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. There's plenty of activity down by the touchline. Looks like we're going to get a substitution. Closer. Almost 75 minutes on the watch now. Long ball over the top. Couldn't quite get it through that. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. He was, uh, he was a bit over ambitious, but I was thinking. Maxi Rodriguez. Higuain, who we've just seen score that goal. Oh, he's lost out there. Cleared away to safety. And they're now bringing on the last of their substitutes. goal Marcus Rojo a long ball forward Aguero shoots they really should have made it 3-0 there and if they don't get the job done from here you look back on that moment and know he should have made it a three goal cushion should have finished things off Palacio on the ball the balls with Aguero now through to Higuain within range Messi, he carved out a pretty presentable chance. Oh, that's just lovely skill, he's certainly a player who can single-handedly make a difference. Great talent. Some hopeful faces waiting in the middle. Threatening through ball. Now a chance for a cross from the flank. Pass cut out. Podolski's got it. Maybe for a shot here. The keeper there to make the catch. Well, when your organisation is that poor, the professional foul is almost inevitable. And I think it was their only saviour. The players are making their feelings known in no uncertain terms, but they've got to be careful here. There's a boundary that they mustn't cross. The keeper's trying to put him off and read which way he's going to go. Will he go, though, for power or placement? Oh, that was a real waste of chance from the spot. And he launches it forward. Mats Hummels. Now Ozil. 
Maxi Rodriguez. It's through. No, intercepted. Big Wayne has robbed him. Well within his range, but to call that wayward would be being kind. It's through to Podolski. Goes with Ozil. It's on for him. Slides it through. And that's it. The final whistle. They come away with the win here after some tremendous work in every department, really. Such a well-deserved result. And their manager will be very proud of them. You know, it's a privilege to be part of a fabulous football match.